Hey everybody, welcome back to No Man's Sky. It's Rusty here, and the channel is now called Fringe Theory Gaming. It's your place to learn all the logic tricks that you'll need to take your No Man's Sky build from ordinary to amazing. Today we're going to learn about push buttons, toggle circuits, and how to wire multiple buttons to a single door. So let's head inside Fringe Theory Labs and check it out. If you've spent even a little bit of time exploring the logic components of No Man's Sky, you'll have noticed that there are several types of switches players can use to interact with your creation. Most players are familiar with the wall switch. It works just like a light switch. Toggle it one way and the power comes on and your door closes. Toggle it the other way and the power goes off and your door opens. It couldn't be simpler. Most player bases use this kind of switch. Simplicity aside, however, there are some disadvantages to wiring your doors in this fashion. If you wanted to, for example, place a switch on either side of a door so that you could open it coming from either direction, you'll find that the two switches cancel each other out. The solution is to use the mysterious and often misunderstood big red button. Now, if you've ever tried to operate a door using the button before, you'll have noticed that the results are kind of underwhelming. The button only stays powered for approximately one second, after which the door will immediately return to its unpowered open state. You see, unlike the wall switch, the button was never really intended to act on its own. The short pulse of energy that it provides is intended to be received by additional logic circuitry. So let's build a simple toggling circuit to receive that signal and control our door. I'm going to show you how, step by step. For those of you who want to upgrade your logic game and increase your knowledge, I encourage you to stick around until the end of the video for a more in-depth breakdown of what this circuit is actually doing. In order to complete this build, we'll need a power source. Here I've supplied power from my base power grid. We'll need our big red button and we'll need a target. In this case, the target is a door but it could just as easily be any other powered device, like a light or teleporter. We also need two power inverters and two auto switches. These will make up the logic circuit that will ultimately be controlling our door. Begin by placing our button and attaching it to your base power supply. I like to keep my connections tidy, so I'll be putting one extra joint in my connection. Place an auto switch and place a power inverter a bit below it. Attach your power inverter to base power and connect it to our auto switch. Now attach the auto switch's output node to our door. Again, I like to keep my connections clean, so I'll be adding an extra joint to mine. And I'm going to add one additional wire connecting the output of this switch back to its own third node. This is important. To the left, we'll place another power inverter run a wire from the third terminal of our auto switch to the second and third nodes of this power inverter. Place the last auto switch just below and attach a wire connecting the output of the above inverter to the third terminal. Then connect the auto switch to the unused node on our original power inverter. That completes our logic circuit, but now we need to be able to send it a signal from our button. So connect the button to the two remaining empty nodes on our circuit. Congratulations. You now have a toggling circuit that switches between two states at the press of a button. And the best part is that you can attach as many buttons as you want to this circuit 
and each button will operate the door without conflict. Now that you have your toggling circuit, you can incorporate it into your build in a number of ways. I have one button on an exterior entrance that's locked behind a combination lock. I have a second button just inside for opening and closing the door from the other side. And if I happen to be playing with some friends, and I wanted to grant those friends access to my base without revealing my secret combination, I can just buzz them in from a third button located high up in my base control room. That is three buttons from three different locations, all peacefully cooperating to control a single door. Now you know everything you need to recreate this circuit in your own build. But if you're interested in designing your own circuits, it helps to know exactly what's going on. So let's take a closer look. The key to this build is the auto switch. An auto switch opens a flow of power when it receives a signal to its third node. By connecting these two nodes, we change the way the auto switch behaves. Now if we ping this connection, the auto switch will activate and will stay activated indefinitely. The only way to turn the auto switch off again is to sever its connection to our power source. We achieve this using a power inverter, which can sever a flow of power when it receives a signal to its third node. Used together, we can turn the auto switch off or on by signaling one or the other of these two nodes. Now we just need a way to tell the signal from our button which way to go. We do this using the other auto switch and inverter. By connecting these to the output of our first auto switch, we can direct the signal to the right node, depending on whether or not the auto switch is currently activated. In this configuration, any pulse received by these two nodes whether it's from our button or another logic circuit, we'll toggle this circuit on or off. This sort of circuit is also called a memory circuit. Its state can be changed via a signal and it will remember its previous state. This is very useful when you'd like your build to remember previous inputs and it's the cornerstone of more advanced logic building in No Man's Sky. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more of this kind of informative No Man's Sky content, I am trying to grow this channel, so likes and subscriptions are greatly appreciated. Feel free to click the appropriate widget if you would like to check out another of my instructional videos, or if you would like to take a tour of one of my No Man's Sky base builds. This has been Rusty, and my channel is Fringe Theory Gaming. I hope this video has been helpful to someone, and hopefully I'll be releasing videos roughly once a fortnight. But until then, thank you for watching.